नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांद स्वामी नितनामी नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेषाशून्यवादी पाश्चात्यादिशतारिणी कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय गौरानिताय जय गौरानिताय गौरानिताय जय गौरानिताय जय राधा पार्थ सरदी राधा पार्थ सरदी राधी जय राधा पार्थ सरदी राधा पार्थ सरदी राधी जय सीता राम लक्ष्मण हनुमान सीता राम लक्ष्मण हनुमान जय नृसिंग देव जय नृसिंग देव नृसिंग देव जय नृसिंग देव जय प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज प्रहलाद महाराज जय प्रहलाद महाराज
जय प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद निराय गोर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल जय विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्राज काचार्य श्री श्रीमद अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री ल प्रभुपाद जी महाराज की इस्कान बेबीटी फाउंडर आचार्य श्री ल प्रभुपाद जी महाराज की जय विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्राज काचार्य नित्य लीला प्रविष्टाष्टोतर सत श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी श्री ल प्रभुपाद जी महाराज की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय नमचार्य शिला हरिदास ठाकुर की प्रेम से काहु श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड गिरिराज गोवर्धन की जय श्री श्री गौर निताई की जय श्री श्री राधा पार्थ सारथि ललिता विशाखा जी की जय श्री श्री सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की जय श्री श्री नृसिंग देव भगवान की जय भक्तराज प्रहलाद महाराज की जय शमेद गौर भक्त वृंद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की निताई गौर प्रेम नंदे हरि हरि बोल अल ग्लोरियस टू असेंबल डिबोटीज अल ग्लोरियस टू असेंबल प्रभुपादीलामृतिस This one. Oh, nice. Thank you. So we'll uh, read uh, one or two pages of Prabhupada's uh, Lila Amrita, written by Sila Sasur Maharaj. There, I will uh, uh, just uh, describe few of his divine pastimes in Odisha State, particularly in Bhubaneswar. So please hear attentively and get the mercy of Sila Prabhupada. As it is continued from Sri Prabhupada Lilamrita, I have done by my part. Here, Tamal Krishna Maharaj is in quiet. Does not Radharani also pray like that to Krishna? Sri Prabhupada said, "Yes." Radharani says, "I am not sincere. Here is your real servant, that is Mahabhav. Krishna becomes a servant to his servant. Therefore, disciple's first duty is to be submissive to his guru." Sri Prabhupada said, Tamal Krishna. All your devotees are very much grateful to you. Sri so, Prabhupada suddenly became immersed in thoughts of his devotees, and he became very ecstatic. Closing his eyes and rocking his head, he spoke with a choked voice and tears. Oh, your intense love for me! I am living for you. All over the world, everything is going on. Money is coming and being spent, and I don't have to worry. I am so much indebted, and I am taking so much service from you all. It is we who are indebted," said Tamal Krishna. "There is no way we can ever pay this debt to you, Sri Prabhupada. That is Bhrot Madanga," said Prabhupada. "I am beating from his, this room, and the sound goes ten thousand miles away. Our enemies are surprised. How this man is still going on?" Sri Prabhupada went on appreciating how people in so many cities are enjoying the Ratha Jatra festivals, singing Lord Jagannath and dancing and chanting. He remembered past Ratha Jatra such as in 1969 in San Francisco, when some of the devotees were dancing joyously around a tree. He began recalling many other past wonderful experiences in his khan. Towards the end of July, Prabhupada's health seemed to be worsening again, and again he mentioned that the end might come at any moment. Tamal Krishna had been acting as Sri Prabhupada's personal secretary for six continuous months. And he had become Prabhupada's eyes and ears and his spokesman, especially in dealing with his con management. And he had also become a personal confidant, assisting Sri Prabhupada in his transcendental moods. As a sincere servant, he now began suggesting a different remedy. Sri Prabhupada had recently been feeling 
and expressing intense devotion toward his disciples in their preaching. Taking this as a cue, Tamal Krishna suggested that if Prabhupada could travel to the West and be with his disciples there, he would find new life. But if I die, said Prabhupada, I want to do so in Vrindavan. Tamal Krishna replied, Sala Prabhupada should not thinking of dying. If you would go on a tour of the West, see the devotees there, take prasadam made from food grown on the iskan farms, then certainly he would respond to such devotion and regain his appetite and strength. Tamal Krishna pointed out that when Sala Prabhupada had been feeling like this in May and the GBC had come, he had responded to the reciprocation of love by increasing his own desire to live. One thing you can do, said Sila Prabhupada, in your daily routine, you can pray to Krishna. If you want him to stay, please cure him. And if not, please take him away. We are fully surrendered to you. Now it depends on your desire to keep him alive and let him leave this world. Sila Prabhupada is pointing out that he was not a victim of some mundane moroseness robbing him of a will to live. He had already said that he would be with Krishna in any case. Staying in this world or living, it was not up to him, but up to Krishna. He recited the prayer of King Kulasekar from the Mukunda Mala Stotra. My dear Krishna, please let me die immediately so that the swan of my mind can be encircled by the stem of your lotus feet. Now while I am still strong, otherwise at the time of my final breath, when my throat is choked off, how will it be possible to think of you? Tamal Krishna persisted in his affectionate line, however, insisting that Srila Prabhupada could not think of living. There is so much unfinished business for Prabhupada in this world, such as personally seeing to the installation of the deities of Radha Rasbihari in the Bombay temple. Srila Prabhupada admitted it is so and added, another ambition I have is that the populace is suffering from agnosticism. agnosticism. The rascals are suffering, but they don't know why I want to drive away agnosticism from the world. Tamal Krishna assured Srila Prabhupada that if we were to go to the West, agnosticism would be driven out. The devotees were already working hard on Srila Prabhupada's instruction. But if they could have his physical presence, they would increase their preaching unlimitedly. Tamal Krishna no longer kept himself only in a passive role waiting for the spiritual master to ring the bell and then waiting to hear what he wanted. Now he was trying to persuade Sri Prabhupada to travel. As Prabhupada began to consider it, he became enthusiastic. When I am in Vrindavan, said Prabhupada, it is transcendental that much mercy Krishna has shown me and wherever there is your center, that is also by Gunta, New York, Los Angeles, Paris or London. Tamal Krishna offered an itinerary, a visit to London, staying at the Bhaktivedanta Manor and also seeing Radha Londoneswar, then to New York and seeing the devotees in the Iskan skyscraper with Radha Govinda, then to the farm in Pennsylvania and then Los Angeles where you could see the new diorimage of Krishna's pastimes. To remain in Vrindavan is a sentiment, Srila Prabhupada agreed. In New York, if I die, you will have to entomb me on the roof, he joked grimly. There is no other room. If I die, as long as I die among you, you are all Baikuntha men. I had a dream that Baikuntha men came to take me. They are all white men with seven heads. Your countrymen cannot believe how you have changed. Srila Prabhupada said that they should consult an astrologer to see whether it was auspicious for him to travel and whether he could be cured and how long he would live. As born in the evening at 4 p.m., said Srila Prabhupada, it was Nandosha. You can consult an old Panjika to see the day. It was a Tuesday. I am prepared to go to the West. Tamal Krishna then quoted from the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse 37, where Krishna tells Arjuna to fight. Either you will die and achieve the heavenly planet or conquer and enjoy the earthly kingdom. Srila Prabhupada said the war was appropriate. Throughout the night and the next day, he considered the traveling proposal and mentioned to his other servants, Tamal is arranging a big party. As praying to Krishna, what is this slow death? Prabhupada told Tamal Krishna, then you quoted that verse, at least my disciple will know, I came at the risk of my life. They are the future hope. I must enthuse them. 
Krishna ordered Arjuna, and I am Arjuna's servant. I am not so limited to think that this is my country, everything is Krishna's. Why should I limit Krishna? Tamal Krishna gave encouragement. When you get there with so many devotees who are giving their lives for spreading Krishna consciousness and assisting you, it will really be enthusing. And you won't have to speak so much. It is a presence. You are seeing the devotees and them seeing you. So in that sense, it won't be exhausting. It is a good climate now. Two, August in London, it is a very good time. Prabhupada turned to Upendra and said, His words are making me feel different. Just hearing, I become enthusiastic. Srila Prabhupada said, Tamal Krishna, by going west, I know you will recover. May Krishna fulfill your words, said Prabhupada. He spent the rest of the, that afternoon hearing Chaitanya Charitamrita, readings from various devotees. At one point, he began to express great bliss and said, Read Chaitanya Charitamrita always to me. These three books, there is no comparison in the world. I may boast like this. I am fortunate to be able to present these books throughout the world and people are accepting them in blindly. After a day had passed, Srila Prabhupada considered the travel proposal more seriously and mentioned some of its defects. He said that whatever he went, his physical condition would go with him. But here you have not been translating lately, Srila said Tamal Krishna. There are so many things. These are the points Prabhupada just had discussed with uh, Tamal Krishna Maharaj. Actually, Tamal Krishna Maharaj is a very good uh, disciple and secretary and servant and very well-experienced manager in Prabhupada's Hare Krishna movement. Prabhupada likes him very much. And most of the time, when there is some crucial issues, Prabhupada called for Tamal Krishna and was consulting with him before taking any decision. So ultimately, Tamal Krishna was there. So he was praying to Radharani that Prabhupada should stay for more timings because we are all inexperienced, not so matured, and Srila Prabhupada had not finished yet all his uh, works he had proposed. So ultimately, Prabhupada told that everything is on the hand of Krishna, as Krishna is the Supreme. And he told them that I am always getting pleasure when I am with my sincere devotees. And now I am becoming old. I can do more preaching. I have to leave my body in Vrindavan. And in that context, Tamal Krishna told Prabhupada, that's its sentiment. Better you should come to the West and be with the devotees and take your prasadam foodstuff from the vegetables prepared from our farm and you'll be okay and your health will be okay. So Prabhupada told it is of course okay but let me think of it. In this way they continued a long time and Prabhupada who was always thoughtful for the people at large of the whole universe. It was the desire of Mahaprabhu that Prithivita Achijat Nagaradi Gram Sarbatra Prachar Hoibe Amare Inam. And Srila Prabhupada is the most blessed devotee by Krishna, Srimati Radharani, Nityananda Prabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to fulfill the desire of Srimati Mahaprabhu as it was forecasted by Mahaprabhu 500 years before. And ultimately, with his health hazard, advanced stage, and all sorts of obstacles, he was able to become success in his preaching activities. Not only that, his mission was going from every corner to corner of every town and village. And ultimately, he was able to collect very good numbers of Western devotees to make the mission of Mahaprabhu successful. And in this way, initially, when he was planning to go to the West, as per the order of his divine spiritual master, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, was very hopeful of getting help from his dear God brothers. But ultimately, it was a big hallucination. And he prayed Krishna and his divine guru, Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, and started his journey in the year 1965 with Jaladut cargo ship, only with Indian rupees, 40 rupees, one kartal, and few sets of Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, first, second, third volume, in English language. That is the whole asset. 
and it took him 35 days to reach Boston, where everything was new for him. Of course, before that, when he wanted to start his journey, he went to Sindhya Navigation's office headquarters at Mumbai, where Simati Moraraji was the managing director and head of that company. But she was not in a mood to receive Prabhupada, as he was a quite old man. And Prabhupada was determined. Definitely, I meet, I'll meet Sumati Mararji and I'll collect my passport and visa from her. For that purpose, Prabhupada was sitting on that wooden staircase, going to that, uh, proceeding to that Sumati Maharaj office for 10 hours continuously. You see how Srila Prabhupada was determined to fulfill his Guru's desire. Anybody is there to sit on that wooden staircase for 10 hours? Impossible. Because you as a spiritual ambassador and very, very blessed by his spiritual master, she was the, he has that courage and faith. And when one of the staff of Sumati Mararji informed her that how this gentleman is waiting for 10 hours, then Sumati Mararji changed his mind and forced to call Prabhupada to his office, to her office. And there Prabhupada, like a very sincere, very sober, very sincere student, he was standing there and by the order of uh, Sumati Maharaj, he was occupying one chair. And elaborately explained her how <coughs> his Srila Prabhupada's spiritual master Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati exactly wanted him to go to the West and preach the science of Krishna consciousness in Western world, in Western language. But Sumati Maharaji tried to convince her, you are at your very advanced age of your life and it's a very long journey in sea and you may be affected with some sorts of sea fever or some other problems. Better to stay in India and send some of your representative. Then Prabhupada very heavily told her, I am at your risk. If you want to dispose him, me for my purpose or mission, then you can do anything. Otherwise, I may go to a second person as per my second choice. So then Sumati Maharaj was convinced that he may be an old gentleman, but he's very much strong, very much faithful to his words of his guru. And definitely he will go to his program and definitely achieve success. So ultimately she made some paperwork and immediately her, by her uh, assistance, Prabhupada got the passport, visa and a room in uh, cargo ship Jaladut and started his journey. And Captain Pandya, the manager of the ship, Sumati Maharaji called her and uh, instructed her, you should take very sincere care of this old gentleman. He is going to waste with a certain purpose. And I should see all sorts of comfort should be provided to him. Thereafter, Prabhupada started his journey. But it was his age and climate in the Atlantic Ocean is, of course, not so bad, but it was not conducive to Srila Prabhupada, for which he has suffered from sea fever. Thereafter, a heart attack came to Prabhupada. And that was a very big headache to Pandya. He thought how to take care of Prabhupada till he reaches at the United States. So ultimately, Prabhupada was lying down on his bed in that uh, cabin of that Jaladut cargo ship. In the mid of the night, Krishna came as an eight to nine years old boy with all his uh, simple one uh, dhoti, this uh, pitambar basan dress, and a flute, and a peacock feather. This much was his hair, dress. And he came to Prabhupada, and tossed the body of Prabhupada from head to feet. And I assured Prabhupada, definitely will be successful in your attempt, because you have strong faith on the words of your divine spiritual master. Age is not a bar. You go ahead and successful. 
the success will follow you. In this way, Krishna vanished. Thereafter, Prabhupada felt as if like one young man. No more heart attack pain. No more physical weakness. No more suffering from sea fever. So he was rest assured, it is all Krishna's mercy. And I'll be definitely successful in my mission. But when he reached that Boston, he saw something reverse. That had not happened in India yet, that time. <laughs> People like young boys and girls moving there in naked, embracing them each other in naked dress. Prabhupada, oh Krishna, you sent me here to spread this Krishna consciousness through the teachings of Gita and Bhagavat. But what is their level? Well, are they in a standard to understand and realize the truth? I am sorry, Krishna. But immediately, Krishna prompted from his heart, Just become a puppet on my hand, Prabhupada. You can't do anything without my help. I am there to help you and success is with you. Be have patience. Then Prabhupada wrote a good poem. In that said, Prabhupada Lenath might have seen it. Use with over emotion, Prabhupada wrote, how I was very much uh, hopeless and how Krishna came and uh, prompted me and ultimately Krishna's desire was fulfilled. Thereafter, you know all these things are here and I know very good number of preachers are in our East of Kala, the Santanagar temple and uh, so many, you know, this uh, WhatsApp, uh, this uh, lectures and other items are coming and I had gone through it also. So no more to explain details of Prabhupada's past times. Time is too short. We have to, I am requested to speak some of the past times of Prabhupada in Odisha state. And uh, I am just going to narrate it. Maybe in uh, just full flesh day, maybe some will be just uh, important points. From there you can just be, and consider how important that uh, project and program of Srila Prabhupada was. It was the year 1974, month of November. Prabhupada's only sannyas disciple from Odisha state, His Holiness Gaur Gobind Maharaj. During his school period, he was a teacher. He was looking all over the India, moving different parts in different, uh, you know, summer vacation of his school to find out spiritual master. And ultimately, after going to east, west, north, south, he had made his plan to go to Vrindavan. If he will not find out his spiritual master there, they will again come back to his same teachership program as he was doing. But Krishna is arranged in his search. He is able to meet Sila Prabhupada. He was in his cottage. It was mid-afternoon. After his lunch, Prabhupada was taking rest. Nobody is allowed to meet Prabhupada at that time. But Gaur Gavid Maharaj, at that time he was a mendicant sadhu, just a towel on his body, covering the body, and a small towel on his shoulder, having a stick on his hand. His own self-style name he had given to him, Gaur Gopal Das. Because Gopal was his very dear de de deity, and Gaurang Mahaprabhu was his uh, counselor. So in that way he made his name Gaur Gopal Das. And he requested Prabhupada's Western Secretary that I am giving a slip of my address, please give it to Prabhupada. If he is allowing me, okay, otherwise I will leave the place. Then he went to Prabhupada and said, when a stranger is coming here, he had given his address to you. Can you allow him to come to you? Prabhupada just saw a moment this address. He told Gaur Gopal Das, let him be with me in this room. At that time, Prabhupada never allowed anybody to come after his, uh, during his lunch or rest. When he saw Gaur Gobind Maharaj, he asked, what's your name? Where from you come? What's the purpose? Had you taken sannyas? He was asking himself. Before Gaur Gobind Maharaj telling him, the proper told, I will give you sannyas. Whether you take sannyas, I will give you sannyas. Question and answer by Srila Prabhupada. Then Gaur Gobind Maharaj knew that he knew my heart, he is my spiritual master. That Prabhupada told, do you know Hindi? Yes, I know little Hindi. Then he called for his servant, bring a table and chair and pen and paper and English BTG, give certain passages to him to write in English, Hindi language and please show it to me. 
So Gaur Gundmar nicely made the translation and shown it to that secretary. He gave it to Prabhupada. Prabhupada appreciated, oh, it's been nice in the translation. I want you. Because we have Hindi literatures less, English literatures more. So India, we want more Hindi literatures. So I'll give you the responsibility to translate more of my English books into Hindi language. Thereafter, he gave him first initiation in Hyderabad farm and gave the responsibility to translate books into Hindi language. His first book was uh, Jogar Purnata, Perfection of Yoga in Hindi language. Thereafter, he told it is the place you have to translate. Whenever I come back from my tour, again I will call for you. Prabhupada went to, after 65 came in the year, not year, but uh, during his Indian tour, he again came to Vrindavan. Before that, he also came to Mumbai. When he was in Mumbai, after a few months preaching in uh, West, he had a good number of disciples. 72 he returned, then again the year 74. Maybe about around 70 Western disciples with seven heads, saffron dress, neck beads, chanting beads, tilak, looked like, looks like demigods. So the Bombay, this uh, chambers of commerce, they want to welcome Prabhupada. The chairman, chambers of commerce, in front of all of his guests and members, to come in time so that they can have the chance to listen Srila Prabhupada, how he initially faced problems, how he made his mission successful in the United States of America. At that time, Prabhupada called for Gaur Gobind Maharaj from Hyderabad farm. Immediately, Gaur Gobind Maharaj came to Mumbai. Prabhupada gave him second initiation after two months only. Then he told, I, had a pro I have a program in Chambers of Commerce. Do you want to go with me? Then Gaur Gobind Maharaj, Gaur, is Gaur Gopal Das, name is Gaur Gobind Das. Gaur Gobind Das told, okay, I am ready to accompany Srila Prabhupada. When everything was in order, big hall, about 2,500, uh, you know, the multimillionaires, the industrialists, and the rich people are gathered. Prabhupada sitting, and the chairman of the commerce, Chambers of Commerce introduced Prabhupada to the audience, then requested Prabhupada to give his lecture. Microphone was given to Prabhupada, then Prabhupada <laughs> initially announced, today's speaker is Sripad Gaur Gobindas. Guru was totally surprised. His body was thrilling like you see, you know how it happens in front of a big audience when a new student is going to speak in front of his presence of his spiritual master. So, Gaur Gobindar is very agile. He was very lean and thin. He went to Prabhupada, near to the dais. Prabhupada, this time I can't speak anything. Please, you should give the speech. Next onwards, I'll do it. Then Prabhupada will give me the microphone. Then Gaur Gobindar immediately handed over the microphone to Prabhupada. Today's speaker is Sripad Gaur Gobindas. Then Gurudev, oh, you can't feel. Just Gurudev was in a very, 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 many, you know, the condition has beyond expression. So ultimately, praying mercy of Prabhupada, he started his uh, Hindi preaching for two and a half hours till 8.30. Then nice conclusion. Then Prabhupada told, give me the microphone. Then again Prabhupada told, now you had listened to Gaur Gobindas for a long period. If everybody has, all of you are satisfied, okay? If any question, you can ask Gaur Gobindas to give your answer. Take your microphone. So he was very much, and really it is the taste of the Guru in a very, very, you know, this uh, peak period where your devotion and your practice, everything will be shown to the public and to Guru and everything. Then Prabhupada called him to his dais. Very nice lecture. I am satisfied. All are so convinced they are not giving a single question to you. And you are telling, I, I am unable to speak. You speak first. Why? You are a very nice devotee. Then he told, how is the working going on in Hyderabad farm? Prabhupada, we are doing very much nice translation and everything. But the proofreaders and the machine men, they are disturbing for which the publication of new and new books are very slow. 
Now, yes, there are karmic people, they do like that. But you continue your sincere seva, definitely will get the books in time. Then Prabhupada told, I will again call you when I have the opportunity. Then Gaurgind Maharaj immediately went to Hyderabad farm. And Prabhupada was very much enthusiastic. How I can open at least one or two or three centers during my this preaching period because my health is weak. I am suffering so much. I am not unable to travel in India. What about outside? So lastly, in the year 1975, during Ram Navami, that's the wideness day perhaps, Prabhupada had planned to open Radha Syam Sundar temple with the installation of deities in Vrindavan Ramanrati. And he again called for Gaur Govind Das to come to him. At that time, Prabhupada arranged also an initiation ceremony. Thirty devotees to take Harinam, twelve devotees to take Gayatri or Upavit or Brahmandikya, and two are there selected to take Sanyas. One is from America, Tripurari Swami, and nobody knows who was the second person. And Gaur Govind Maharaj, Gaur Govind Das was there, so Prabhupada instructed him, who are going to be initiated here, you should prepare their seeds, their Ashaman Patra, there are all these uh, items required for uh, Havan and garland everything. And when I will instruct you, you will carry out my orders by just putting the sannyas desk by yourself. Ultimately, Gorgon Maharaj prepared 52, 54 seats and everything well with uh, Havan items and uh, garlands and banana leaves and Achaman Patra everything. Then immediately Prabhupada added, Gaur Govindas, please come and please put on your this sannyas dress. Hold your danda immediately. So immediately Gaur Govind Maharaj came and had put his sannyas dress and put danda and sit down on that back and place. And Gaur Prabhupada immediately started Havan Kriya continuously. In between he declared the names of uh, the Harinam initiated devotees, 14 numbers. Thereafter he declared the names of these two sannyasis. One is Tripurari Swami from America and another is His Holiness Gaur Gobind Das Goswami from Odisha State. All the Western deputies were in panic. Only six months. Harinam, Gayatri, Brahminical Thread and lastly Sanyas Gaur Gobind Das Goswami. Then the vote is definitely they will be very much reactionary because some are waiting to take sannyas 15 years back, to, uh, 13 years back, 10 years back. Prabhupada is saying, oh, you are not qualified, try your sadhana, do your sadhana, I will test, I will do it. But he is a guy, very lean and thin from poor Orisha state, from very, very remote part of Odisha state. Nobody knew him other than Prabhupada. What qualification he has? He has got Harinam Gayatri sannyas within six months. Then they rushed to the Prabhupada's room. Dr. Prabhupada, what decision you took? Is he a fittest candidate to take sannyas? Prabhupada told, I am the judge. You are not the judges. Prabhupada, we are waiting and still you had given him the preference. Prabhupada told, he is one Vaishnav, you are practicing Vaishnav. Understand? You will further argue with me, I will leave your society and will remain forever with him. Okay? No, no, Prabhupada, please, please excuse us. You should stay with him, with also with us. We remain in society, don't remain with him. We are there, we are sorry, we are sorry, Prabhupada. Then they remain, they went away. Then Prabhupada told, you see, as I had given you this initiation, there are so much reactionary. Take care of your devotional practice and everything carefully. And ultimately he told, now we have no land in Bhuvaneswar. But when that opportunity comes, I will tell you. Now please go to translation work. And ultimately when he was in Calcutta, Trishi Albert Road, when Prabhupada is taking his lunch, is by the divine arrangement of the Lord, when couple came, their Vijayananda Kanunga and Chavi Kanungo, Vijayananda Kanungo was one of the general manager of Eastern Coldfield in Calcutta headquarter branch. And his wife Chavi Kanungo, he has that small patch of land where at present the Bhuvaneswar temple is located. Vijayananda Kanun is the third son of Nityananda Kanungo, the then governor of Bihar and West Bengal. So Prabhupada told, I want to have a patch of land. 
And when my disciple Gaur Gobind asked me, it's an international society but no branch in Odisha, the, I asked him that you should have a branch, you should have a temple, you can, you'll invite me to come to Odisha. You'll take me to Odisha. So now it is up to you to see the land has no litigation. Because you, Shavi Kanungo, you have eight numbers of brothers and sisters. Consult them within one month and report me immediately about the land. Ultimately, she gave her clearance that nobody is interested because it is the outskirt place of Bhuvaneswar city. So nobody is coming in the daytime. So there was all nasty things going on in the NS5, even in daytime, mid-noon period. So nobody is interested in that land. Please take that land and start your program. So ultimately from Mayapur, Prabhupada sent some of his disciples, including Jaipataka Maharaj also, to see that land and to demarcate the area and to find which is possible to do at that time. Just at that moment, he informed Gaur Govind Maharaj from Hyderabad, please come to Bhuvaneswar, Nayapali village, NH5, to locate the place. I had already sent my devotees, I can join with them. Ultimately, they located the place, one acre land, close to NH5. So Prabhupada instructed him to start a cottage there and make his own vegetables there, prepare your foodstuffs and offer to Krishna and translate my books into Odian language and preach Odisha people of this Krishna consciousness. But a spiritual master's order, so Gaurgund Maharaj is carrying out his order. Because he was alone, who are assisting him, they told, better you should go to Puri. It is a good place. It is a holy place. Jagannath temple is there. It is an isolated place. Nobody is coming. It is full of forests and jungles and these uh, scorpions are there, snakes are there. So we can stay here, better postpone the idea. Then he wrote to Prabhupada, they are not interested, they are disturbing so me, so you please do something. I please, I will, I will just come to Odisha, but uh, we'll have some discussion. So please uh, wait for a while. In the meantime, Gaur Govind Maharaj came to know that gradually Prabhupada's age is advancing and he is suffering physically, not moving, able to move alone to uh, neither to the west or in even Indian subcontinent itself. So he wrote a letter to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, we are interested, you please come and uh, just make arrangements of a temple here. And we are arranged in a life members bungalow, newly built up double storey building. And in state um, guest house, one very nice uh, room, already booked in your name, which will be confirmed and we will just book it for your uh, program here. When that letter reached Prabhupada, Prabhupada was at them in Allahabad. Prabhupada replied, neither will stay in your state guest house or in the bungalow of your life members. Rather, I prefer to stay in the cottage made by you on the land given by Supreme Lord Krishna. But one point I am requesting, have an electric point to operate my dictaphone where I am translating my Bhagavatam into English language from Bengali. So only one electric point is required. Then Gaur Gajmar is confirmed, Prabhupada will stay in the cottage itself. So that cottage is very poor because people are not giving a single pie at that time. Nowadays also very difficult. So he made a very small five inches wall, uh, you know, uh, the small cottage and uh, very poor uh, rooftops are there. And uh, decided to come to Prabhupada. Prabhupada told, I am going to Prayag Raj Kumbha Mela, Maha Kumbha Mela which comes every 12 years interval. So please come, we will both proceed to Bhuvaneswar. Then Prabhupada was in his Kumbhamala program, Gaur Gajan Maharaj association with two of the local villagers as his associates, just proceed to Prayagraj. From there they came by train, only train that is Utkal Express. And reached Bhuvaneswar on 16th January 1977. Then Prabhupada started his programs. Once the news spread, thousands and thousands of people came to that arena. And Prabhupada was giving lecture on Chaitanya Charitamrita and Srimad Bhagavad Gita. So, he told to Gaur Gamid Maharaj, my program is like this. I will preach people on this Chaitanya Charitamrita and Gita lectures given by Krishna. And your responsibilities is to feed to everybody coming to this place. 
not a single man should go without any footstuff can you do it yes prabhupad but gorgan maharaj told us i am not a single pie with me but as my spiritual master is giving me direction or not i have to carry out it so by the mercy of gopal every day some other different items are coming and preparations are going on till 17 days nobody was without any pudding and they are getting samchis prasadam then prabhupad is waiting to that day auspicious day second february 77 lord nityanand soli appearance day nityanand trayodashi to lay down the cornerstone of bhubaneswar is con temple and so many distinguished guests came including nitend kanungo and other uh, just very prominent personalities and radhanath rath the editor of samaj and some pandit sadashiva rath sharma great scholar from puri and some very 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 well known persons were invited and prabhupad with massive kirtan laid down the cornerstone of bhubaneswar iskon temple on 2nd february 77 on holy appearance of lord nityananda then he called gaur gobind maharaj to his room he told none of my secretary should be here no tape recorder should be there to record my voice or none of my assistant should be here i will be alone with my disciple gaur gobind maharaj for about 1 to 2 hours they have a discussion proper told all confidential things to gaur gobind maharaj but told don't leak it out only three things we had heard from gaur gobind maharaj lips that prabhupad told they are forcing me not to make any center in bhubaneswar rather shift this project to jagannath puri because it is a tourist plot and is a purushottam dham sri khetra and jagannath temple is there and sea beach is there from all point of view it is very it will be very nice center and it is a out of place nobody will come so cancel the idea to make a center in bhubaneswar prabhu no i had decided i had deputed to gaur gobind maharaj definitely to one of the best center of the world and also prabhu pat told it is not my desire it is desire of shivaji mahadev shivaji came in dream to me and asked you are preaching and making so many centers around the globe why not a center in bhubaneswar Are you agreed to do a center, Prabhupada? Yes, yes, Sir. I will do a center for your pleasure. So ultimately, that response should be given to Gaur Gobind Maharaj. And after 14 years of his effort, he was able to inaugurate the temple, 20th January 1991. So ultimately, Prabhupada told him three things. it will be one of the best preaching center of the world with your able guidance and it will be the heart of the bhubaneswar city and i have a desire this will three altar system temple like this middle will be krishna balaram right to krishna balaram gornitai and left to krishna balaram jagannath baldev subhadra krishna balaram gornitai deities should be with vras deity and jagannath himself will come you should not worry about jagannath It was 77. Prabhupada told 1977, and he told, "I knew Odisha is a poor state. To raise the fund is very difficult. But this temple will be made with our matching grant system. Do you know what is matching grant system? Gorgon Marshal, no, I have no idea. Now the amount you will collect from the locality, inform me. I will send you the similar amount by our joint venture. This temple will be done. But now you have no money. I know. So take forty thousand rupees from me." start your project but after proper said departure this thing everything was completely closed whole responsibility was with gaur gobind maharaj <coughs> anyhow 20 january 91 he just uh, made the opening of the temple with installation of deities before that he had ordered the kantilo nilamadhav you might have been seen that nilamadhav temple Kantilo, very good scenery of Mahanadi River, very clean water, very good place, very prominent place uh, when there was uh, kings ruling was there, and there very good brass, you know, carvers are there. They made this Gornitai and Krishna Balram deity. But Heda uh, ki when Jagannath will come? Without waiting to that, Gorgon Maharaj told that okay, let Prabhupada's words comes true. 
we should consult with some local people who can have best uh, they can make this jagannath deity before anybody could come one gentleman came in the noon period of month of june of 1989 after 12 years prediction by sila prabhupad he was asking the devotees why the temple is uh, incomplete when it will be completed which deities are to be installed who is in charge of all these things devotees told there is one maharaj gaur gobind maharaj he is translating books into a uh, proper into oriya language sitting in his cottage please come and consult with him then gaur gobind maharaj made condition if jagannath will not looking attractive beautiful you won't accept your deities i will send my devotees if they will confirm it then i can consider your prayer ultimate devotees went to his house has a big building he was a very big uh, merchantile man big business from 1980 he brought the deities and purchasing land for the temple and uh, different programs purpose and depositing the good amount in banks for the construction of the temple but when he has need of his money for his business you are selling the land and drawing the, all the amounts from bank in this are 10 years past his name was uh, kedarnath bhagat his wife told him 10 years past neither you are making any temple or in selling the deities selling the land and uh, in just uh, expending the money deposit in bank so it is better you can give it some institution already that man had changed his mind okay i may, may not be able to the temple let us donate it to some other temples he went around bhuvaneswar bhuvaneswar name as a temple city full up temples so he went individual to all the temples none of them were agreed because they have their plans for shivaji's temple or goddess durga's temple or santoshi mata temple or sitaram lakshman hanuman temple or small jagannath temple or so many things they just described narrated he's totally harassed ultimately when come in the ns5 he saw this incomplete temple of iskon bhuvaneswar and after the devotees went there they saw the deities were in near a corner of a big uh, room for 10 years they are not uh, bathing or any cleanliness on the deities uh, form it was totally dark why is that dust or smoke are coming near to that place this gentleman is a worshiper of uh, satya sai baba of puta parthi he has a life size photo of satya sai baba with red color gown wearing and red garlanded this rose flowers on that photo and he is worshiping this satya sai baba with pancha pradeep just uh, opening just uh, playing his record ajay dev goswami is uh, you know this uh, dasavatar kesava dhruta meena sharira jay jagadishare kurma sharira this this with satya sai baba he is a yogi first class yogi he is not bhagwan because he just predicted to his followers i will leave my body after 1996 but before that 7 years before he left his body so his words himself he declared it was also not true so how is bhagwan to ultimately devotees could know that although the deities are trainer suffering here they are not uh, getting in pleasure because sai baba is the jay jagadish sahare in his house so ultimately they in front gaur gobind maharaj deities are looks nice but because of this black smokes from that arati they are just uh, looking little uh, not so clean and we can bring it so that was the period of nava oh, sorry anavasar means after snan purnima after means 14th of this month 15 days lord will not give any darshan first july is ratha jatra and 30th june will be the nava jobana darshanam of their lord ships similar that period 89 1989 that was period of anavasar so jagannath should not be seen to the public and we should not bring him open to the public also so new clothes new sarees new bed sheets new coverings everything were arranged and number of 14 numbers of devotees went with mridanga kartal kansal everything and went to his house and he arranged a you know truck where the deities were brought as per the puri tradition with uh, pandi first sudarshan then baladev then subhadra then jagannath all total bodies covered nobody can see and with jay jagannath they brought him and at that time the gentleman he had uh, deposited thousands of rupees in the bank but when jagannath left his house he gave only 100 rupees 
he do this much is with me. You see, so much uh, he's just a major man like that. Anyhow, Jagannath is now free from his clutch. It was brought on 28 January 91. Date is you are installed. And the desire of Prabhupada. The deities were waiting to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada in his house. As a presidential, they are waiting. When that uh, uh, favorable time will come, we will be released from this jungle of that man who is doing arati to Sai Baba Jai Jagadi Sahare. And thereafter, it was uh, 20th of April 1991. Jagan Krishna and Balaram in the form of Jagannath and Baldev came to Gaur Govind Maharaj's cottage. It was midnight, one o'clock. Before this, in the year 1985, Gaur Govind Maharaj installed Jagannath Baldev Subhadra at a small one and a half feet size in traveling Sankirtan bus with uh, the help of Bhakti Charu Maharaj. Because the bus is moving, devotees will be taken care of by the deities. So Jagannath, Baldev, Subhadra were installed in their 1985. That period, when Snanapunni was there, Bros was coming to the temple. After Snanapunni, deities have no darshan, then Ratajatra, then Bhavadajatra. Again, deities are going for Prachar program. When these deities came, big deities were installed in the year 91, 28 January, on this uh, very 20th April 2000, uh, sorry, 1991, they came into Gaur Maharaj in dream and loudly they are <laughs> calling, Gaur Govind Maharaj, Gaur Govind Maharaj. Guru is sleeping very deeply. Somebody is calling me. So immediately woke up from his bed. Who is calling me in this dead of night? With my clearly tone, big voice tone of my own name. He saw Krishna and Balaram in huge form, like looking like Jagannath and Baldev. Very costly ornaments, very high figures, not very limited within a small cottage. Defulgence is coming like anything, and they are calling Gaur Govind Maharaj. Then Gaur Govind Maharaj paid his obeisances to them. They told Maharaj, we came to you, we have two grievances. What are the grievances? You are arranging for our Snan Purnima, Ratha Jatra and Bahuda Jatra. Why are you not arranging Chandan Jatra for us? First grievance. Second, you had uh, put us in a small room in the temple. We are feeling hot. You should arrange something that will feel cool. These are our grievances. Then they, both of them vanished. Then Gurudev came out immediately and looked at the calendar. When that Tithi is there for Chandan Jatra. The 21st April 1991, the next early morning is Akhay Turtiya. A pond should be there. Boat should be there, arrangement of cultural programs should be there, prasad may huge in quantity to be distributed, that should be there. But one night, just one o'clock after three hours, early morning starts means 21st April will start. How can it be done? So immediately called his engineer, where now his 22 staircase is there, there he made eight feet by eight feet and two and a half feet depth, one small uh, ditch and filled with sand and uh, the butter by this uh, bricks, earth bricks and uh, covered it with, uh, you know, plastic coverings and put it water there. And uh, formality made small to, uh, you know, boats uh, with that woods and with the carpenter self and just brought this, uh, you know, presiding deities of Krishna Mulan of small archa vigras and formality sake that was done just pulling by the hands itself for 21 days. And cultural problems, everything. Thereafter, in the said 91, Within October, November, December, he made that Chandan tank, which is existing now. Three times NH authorities had already told us, we'll break it, we'll break it, we'll uh, just uh, expand the NH, please take care of it. And what care will take? Jagannath will take care of it. Because they asked, Gaurgand Maharaj made. Till now it is going on. If we'll break, it is Lord's desire, we can't do anything. And in the meantime, Prabhupada, in that small cottage, he started, Finished ninth canto Srimad Bhagavatam and started tenth canto Srimad Bhagavatam for seventeen days. And he had narrating the locals and his uh, devotees also how he initially faced problems while preaching and coming to America and preaching in America. In the meantime, one journalist came there. His name was Jitendar Singh, prominent journalist of government of India. He was moving to different religious headquarters, religion headquarters to ask some of his questions 
which was uh, coming to his mind every now and then. Went to Kaaba Masjid, Makkah. He went to Marsi Mahesh Jogi. He went to the Satya Sai Baba. At that time, who are the spiritual leaders of the world? Of any religion, he met them. They could not give any satisfied answer. So ultimately, he came to know that one society is formed that is Iskhan and his head is La Prabhupada. So he was looking after Prabhupada, how can he meet him? When he came from West to I mean, India, he got the news that Prabhupada now is in Orissa state. So immediately he in front of Odisha government, became state guest and came to Odisha and was interested to meet uh, Prabhupada. At that time, there was Sachinandan Prabhu was named as Shrutidhar before initiation. He was a tourist uh, assistant tourist officer. He took his help by the advice of uh, director of tourism who will assist him to meet Prabhupada. They came in a, with a state government car and he came to the room of Prabhupada cottage where Prabhupada and Gorgonja uh, staying side by side in that uh, hot cottage. So he was going to ask Prabhupada about his question. But Prabhupada at that time narrating all the topics on his uh, difficulties in initial stage in United States of America. Prabhupada immediately closed the topic and told his disciple to bring Chaitanya Charitamrita to read specific chapter with his purpose and sloka itself. Thereafter, again continued his experience of American pre United States preaching. Then this gentleman was have some counter question over the answer of Prabhupada. He was going to ask that Prabhupada immediately asked Shrutidhar, please bring Srimad Bhagavad Gita, open this chapter and uh, read its text with his pur purpose. I just uh, start it. Though Shrutidhar was so much in his mood, you are explaining Americans, <coughs> your problem in America in preaching. What forced you to uh, make the devotee to read from Chaitanya Sarthamta Prabhupada uh, because of his old age perverse imbalance of his mind sometimes so happens. But when Prabhupada asked himself to Shrutidhar, you read Gita, he was puzzled over oh, Prabhupada knew my mind. So ultimately he read that uh, purport and uh, text and answer everything. Then that gentleman was very much satisfied, Jitendar Singh. He called Shrutidhar, I had been to different spiritual leaders but my unanswered question was answered by this Prabhupada within few seconds. When the counter question came, he answered it again through you reading Gita. So I had seen the living Chaitanya now. He is really the successful preacher of Krishna consciousness around the globe. I saw the living Chaitanya, my life is successful. <laughs> so Prabhupada knew past, present, future. One of the executive engineers of the Odisha government came to pay your obeisances, knowing that Prabhupada is coming. The when is just paid his obeisance, just uh, was standing there. Prabhupada told one of his of your brother is already uh, left his home in Sanyasi. Listen, no, yes, my younger brother had joined one society. He had taken Sanyas. He was not asking. Prabhupada himself answering means he knew everybody's heart. In this way, Prabhupada. But the seer of the truth, and by his mercy, by the able uh, preaching activities of Gaur Govind Maharaj, once that temple was very famous, and numbers of brahmacharis are more that time, more than 200 or 300 brahmacharis. And everybody thought, if Gaur Govind Maharaj will continue, it will be the only place of brahmacharis around the globe. Nobody will come anywhere else. And it will be the next Mayapur. But it is Lord's desire. He passed away in the year 1996. The Prabhupada's holy, you know, the appearance day year that is centenary year. And he arranged programs for Prabhupada's glorification in exhibition ground. Where thousands and thousands of people are coming. And he's giving very heavy preaching. And very, very, he was speaking very loud like, roaring like lions. And all the people around the area, they are surprised. Such a elevated sadhu is there in Odisha, speaking Odian language, souls in English language. Let us go and have darshan of him. It was four days program. So 4th February 96, when he was giving a good lecture on pastimes of Jagannath and Krishna, it was about oh, from 7 to 9 he gave continuous lecture. So the organizers told Gorgim Naraj, please close your program because 
small kids are come to just show their Krishna Lila performance. Guardians are very much already in that mood. They are also going to sleep already. Or already somebody had slept. So they are losing their interest. Please close it. So Gaurgind Maharaj immediately told the audience, now our program is cultural program Krishna Lila. Please enjoy it because the organizers are very much uh, uh, called, invited some groups, small kids are there. They'll show you Krishna Lila. Please enjoy it. Immediately all the thousands of people there, they stood up and raised their hands. No, no, no. We want to hear Krishna. We don't want any cultural program. They're surprised again. So, again the organizers with their folded hands bade apology. Please, please listen. We'll postpone it for some half an hour. In this way, Gorgonar continued, but told it is a long topic. If anybody has any question or to inquiry, please come to our local office here or that center at Nayapalli NH5. So I have that answer. But please encourage the small kids, they are coming to do their program. In this way, they are all satisfied. And Prabhupada's by mercy, he translated his books, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Bhagavatam, Gita, any small books, teachings of Lord Chaitanya, Lord Kapila, and uh, you know this... Um, Kunti Devi, everything in perfect Odia language. So he just got the blessings of Prabhupada. When Prabhupada left the planet, before four days, Gaurgoind Maharaj went there. And when Prabhupada was in Bhuvaneswar, he has some stomachic disorder. She told Gaurgoind Maharaj, is there any medicine? Gaurgoind Maharaj told, yes, there is a tank near Kedar Gauri, near Lingaraj temple. Some... Uh, Water is there where from inside bubbles are coming. That's very curable water. I'll bring. So Logudi Prabhu, he was Prabhupada's Australian disciple. He was coming a 12 liter uh, vat with his uh, shoulder. He was walking by food. He is coming to Lingaraj temple and collecting every day 12 liters water for Prabhupada. 17 days continuously Prabhupada took that water and his stomach is disordered totally gone. He was very much satisfied. So ultimately when Prabhupada was there, he just told Gorgam Maharaj that my books are translated, it should be preached, and when you have time, you can go and preach about culture of Jagannath's culture, what is going on here. So, every year, four times, we are going to America, to Europe, to Africa, to Australia, to Indonesia, to preach about the science of Krishna consciousness and how Jagannath is staying there, taking the seva in form of prasadam. So ultimately, devotees were very much impressed. When once he was in Bali to give his third time touring lectures, the authority there told, we have a number of devotees interested to take initiation from your holiness. Okay? Okay, you can do. She prepared a list of 1,400 devotees. Then he told the list to show it to Gorgon Maharaj. Oh, I am not, I am not such qualified person to initiate all of them. Because my devotion is so much small. How can you take the reaction of karma of this all 1400 devotees? It is not possible. Now you are, um, because at that time Gurudev's own manager, that president was there as the Gurudev servant. They told that your own uh, servant is company that you can accept. No, 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 no. I have to accept disciples. He is not accepting. I have to take the karmic reaction of my followers, not he will take their reactions. And I have to make them reach at the lotus feet of Krishna, not himself. So responsibility lies with me. So I am not sure to give initiation to 1,400 devotees. Give me the list. He scrutinized the list for seven days and selected one four, 14 devotees to take initiation out of 1,400. He told, Mahaprabhu instructed me, don't go through so many scriptures to become expert audience. Don't accept so many disciples for which you will have to suffer and their karmic reaction will make you doom in your devotional practice. So I am follower of Mahaprabhu. I will accept only 14 numbers of devotees. They are very strict. Total in 16 years preaching program, I was telling this to a night last night to two of my brothers here. He accepted less than 500 devotees. I'm very strict. If you do some mistake, he'll excuse you. But anything connecting with any, sorry to say, any devotees with any Mataji or anything, mind it, Gaurgondha is like a thunderbolt. He'll kill you. He does not look at the face of his disciple. Get out! 
I don't want to look at your face. I'm giving my spiritual blood to make you a devotee, to go come back to Godhead, to serve lotus feet of Krishna. Whatever you want, you ask me freely, openly. I will arrange. But do something nonsense, nuisance that will disturb your spiritual career and disturb my preaching activities also. So all you are fearing to sit in the front line because he will ask questions. Whenever you ask questions, we people just sit silent. Because he will say something wrong, again immediately hammered among the public. He will remain silent. Oh, he is not able to answer. He surrendered. Let him be excused. In this way, so many pastimes are there and Prabhupada was there for continuously 17 days without any proper facilities. Still, he blessed the temple and he told, these altars are a tattvaj of Guru Tattva. Means, Gornitai Nityanand is there, Guru Tattva. Krishna Balaram, Balaram is Guru Tattva. Jagannath Baladev Subhadra, Baladev is there, Guru Tattva. So, I am just giving all of my mercy on Guru Tattva to Bhubanesha Temple through Gaur Govind Maharaj so that whoever comes here, they will well trained about Guru Tattva and will realize the manifestation or personification Guru who is the mercy personification of Lord Krishna Himself. So that's why you are getting mercy always and it is open to everybody. And he told Gaur Govind Maharaj, because my disciples are not allowed in Puri Temple, mostly Westerners, so you should make a temple your Jagannath deity and in this highway, make a grand road and put the chariots here, three chariots. My Western devotees are not allowed there. They come here to pull chariot with the words, Jai Jagannath, Jai Baladev, Jai Subhadra. They will be satisfied that Prabhupada arranged for us a Rathajatra, at least in Bhuvaneswar, only one hour drive distance from Jagannath Puri. So later it was all just uh, come on a, it is fulfilled, the proper desire fulfilled, and three chariots are still now, and nice Gundicha temple. And whenever we are coming, I think somewhat to our Gushitam Balaram temple, but last COVID period, uh, there is no Rathajatra. This time in time, 1st July, there is Rathajatra. Out up to 9th, there is a returning car festival. So whoever has the Jijar, they can come to Gundicha temple and see the lords there. And the date is there and get the mercy. And in this way, these are the pastimes of Prabhupada. And Prabhupada, that was uh, in, when he was three years old, prediction was there. He, at his advanced age of 70, he will preach the science of Krishna consciousness all over the world and will open 100, 108 centers around the globe. And fortunately, Bhubaneswar is 108 branch of Prabhupada, last founded project. And so also of his divine guru, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. He made very good number of branches of which that Gundicha, sorry, Lingaraj temple, there is a branch is there, that is also his lifetime, 64th last founded project in Bhuvaneswar. See, in this way, Lord Shivaji was very mercifully uh, requesting Prabhupada, it was done, and Shivaji himself started reciting Bhagavatam to Parvati in that uh, Bhuvaneswar. Krishna had given him the chance from Kasi, you should come and stay here. It is the gateway to Puri. Whoever wants to go to Puri, they will take permission from you. That's why Lingaraj is at the gateway of Bhubaneswar going to Puri. Whoever pray for Jagannath Darshan, by the mercy of Shivaji, you can have Darshan. If you will not pray, you have your vehicle, you have your money, everything, you will go to seashore or to hotel, not to the temple, not have any Darshan of Jagannath. It is so prominent. And there, one mango tree was there, covering the entire area. And it is Koti Lingeshwar. Means, Crores of Sivalinga are still under the earth in Bhuvaneswar area. Now till uh, Archaeological Survey of India had found 32 temples excavated from the ground. The rest they will do in future. And there Sivaji narrated Bhagavatam to Parvati in the Dekamra Kanan. Sivaji is laughing always because in mood of Krishna's uh, thinking Krishna and his uh, beauty and his uh, glorification, everything he was attracted. So Parvati told, why you are laughing? You know, husband and wife. If husband is laughing alone, definitely wifeless, why are, nobody is there, why you are laughing? So she was told, it is not to be told to anybody. It is, what secret? I am your wife. You should at least narrate to me. Are Baba, you are not able to understand. Now please, please tell me something. You are uh, just testing the nectar, why not I? Okay, please sit down. I will narrate. But how can you know that you are attentive to my lecture? Then he told, you can do some, uh, uh, just uh, respond, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, means I am present, I am listening to you. Then Sivaji narrated, started narrating Bhagavatam. 
Shivaji is so intense love for Krishna and Bhagavatam. He was so deep in his uh, speech. He was in. He was not uh, just uh, uh, diverted his attention whether Parvati is listening or not. Once his uh, attention was uh, there to Parvati, he already slept. No sound is coming, but somewhere some sound is coming. Parvati is sleeping, where from it is coming? Then he looked at the branch itself. He found a parrot is doing the imitation of Parvati. Then Shibuji was very much furious. With his trident, he stopped reciting Bhagavatam or disturbing Parvati, rushed after the parrot to kill it. Why you are listening to my words when my wife was uh, sleeping? Parrot is not an ordinary parrot. Parrot was rushed so speedily, Shibuji is moving this trident to kill her. But he was not able to touch even her. Then that parrot came to the place where Basadev was there. And Basadev's wife, Bitop, was uh, pregnant. She was expected to just uh, give birth to a child. And she was just uh, snoring slowly. And this parrot, she knew all Ashtanga Siddhi, all eight perfection of Jago. And within a moment, it became very small, small, you know, small particle, like dust, and entered into the nostrils of uh, Bitopa and went to her garbha, abdomen. She was unable to understand what happened, where is that parrot? And that parrot is in the womb of Bitopa for 16 years. And uh, Vasudev is calling, O oh, Atman, please come out. Your mother is getting pain. Then Atman inside says, No, I can't go. That place is of Maya. Maya will touch me. I can't go. I'm getting happy in my mother's home. Are Baba, 16 years past. Whatever years past, I won't go there outside. He's there talking like this. Then he saw, Vasudev saw, it is difficult to convince this Atman in the womb of the mother. He went to Dwarakadhis Krishna, when Krishna was doing his Dwarakadhis Lila. Oh Krishna, please come, it is a very serious matter. Mother is getting pain, and 16 years passed, child is not coming out, so it is only your intervention, it will solve the problem. Then Krishna immediately came to the place, and told, Oh Atman, please come out. No, 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 there is Maya, I can't be there. No, no Maya will touch you, I am assuring you, please come out. He, Within the mother's home, all the souls realize what Krishna is, what Krishna's word is, how painful the material world is. But after coming out from mother's home, because of the three modes of material, they forget everything. And they give commitment to Krishna, I will seriously do bhajan, this will be my last life, I will go back to Krishna to you. I am sorry, I am disturbing you, but when coming out of mother's home, they forget everything. But this soul, after 16 years, when coming out of the mother's home, was not looking to anything, going straight to search where is Krishna. There are Basad pacified him, though so many topics are there. Basad compiled this Bhagavatam in his Pandulipi form. He first expressed it to his son Sukadev. Because Sukopaki was there, his name is Sukadev. And after Sukadev, listen all things, he was initially thought Krishna is Brahman, Param Brahman, and no, you know, the form of Krishna. But after hearing, he was so much attracted to Krishna, he was able to see Krishna. And he smelled the flowers and tulsi offered to Krishna at his lotus feet and he became totally a devotee, pure devotee of Krishna. There the same Sukadev Goswami came to give this uh, knowledge to Parikit for seven days, who was totally become a self-realized soul and went back home back to Godhead. At that time also Sukadev was naked, but his, his bodily features are so attractive, so beautiful, exactly looks like Krishna. It narrated in Bhagavatam. And those who are uh, spitting at him or throwing some stones at him or joking with him or putting, I mean, throwing stools at him and uh, just uh, passing some comments over him, when they saw that big gathering of sadhus is there and all are paying him respect, just standing on their positions, they could realize he is a very liberated soul. And ultimately, Sukadev narrated him that to listen Bhagavatam and this is the only solution to your liberation and go back home, back to Godhead. That was Sutta Goswami was there as a audience, and among the audience, he just narrated it to Saunak and others, which is the third compilation of Bhagavatam for us. In this way, we started from Sibaji, it came to the end to Sutta Saunaka Sambad. So in this way, Bhubanesh is the place where Sibaji still is narrating the qualities, pastimes, divine 
you know, Swarupa, Rupa Krishna, and so also in Mahaprabhu came 534 years back as a sannyasi to Jagannath Puri. He just went to that Bhuvaneswar, who had seen that all the associates of Shiva are doing that uh, prayers to Shiva, glorifying with a kind of different lamps, and looks very beautiful. And Shiva immediately appeared to Mahaprabhu, and Mahaprabhu just to have got darshan of Shiva, and Shiva paid his obeisances to Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu just narrated what was from Kasi till Bhuvaneswar. Narrated everything bit by bit to his uh, associates, how the prominent is Bhuvaneswar Dham. And the same Shiva ordered Prabhupada to open a temple and by his uh, own disciple Gauragand Maharaj, Prabhupada made that temple. In this way, Bhuvaneswar is the last founded project of Prabhupada and prominent place of Guru Tattva. In this way, there are so many topics. Already time is passed. I should not, uh, I should not, but already a <laughs> partner is gone. If there are any comments or any questions, please give. Otherwise, we'll uh, just close our topics here. Hare Krishna. So, well understood. I've got the idea of Bhuvaneswar Dham, about Shivaji, how he's interested for his concentrator, asking Prabhupada, and Prabhupada deputed Gaurgovind Maharaj, who took 14 years to make this temple. Once Gaurgovind Maharaj was to a very good uh, superintendent engineer, very good uh, class one officer, he got given that time 10 rupees also. When Gaurgovind Maharaj opened his uh, gate and pressed the calling bell, that uh, demon came out. <laughs> Yes, Gurgan Maharaj was so humbly asking, we are going to make a ISKCON center here. We want some contribution from you and we will uh, in, uh, invite you in your uh, inauguration program. Please give some of your uh, contribution to us. You rascal, you are coming from CI agents, dollars are coming to you, you are coming in the garb of a beggar, get out. Otherwise I will just make you, manage just to arrange my uh, servant to make you out of the gate. No, no, sir, don't so much angry. I am just coming. What? You are a, in the garb of a CI agent. You are coming in the garb of a beggar as a CI agent here. I won't give you anything. Get out. That was the, you can't. <laughs> I was talking to Mahamantra Prabhu this morning because he has well aware of it also. It's Sachinandan Prabhu, the Surtidhar Prabhu is Gurudev's assistant that time. There no vehicle, nothing else. He was going, coming from his residence in cycle to Iskand Temple and carry Gaurgind Maharaj to different areas of Bhubaneswar locality where uh, big numbers of, uh, you know, quarters are there and rich people are there. So he was waiting at the gate side. What conversation is going on? He saw how action was by, his name was Mukunda Mahapatri, he left his body now. <coughs> he was a very black fat man looking like a demon. <coughs> Not giving a single pipe but scolded like anything. So then, uh, Gurudev was coming without any, money, just rather, he was rebuked very heavily. So, Sachinandan Prabhu, Shrutidhar Prabhu, he was asking Gurudev Sar at that time. Gurudev was not giving any session. After 10 years of his sannyas, he was allowed by Iskand. 75 initiated by Prabhupada, 10 years no Guruship was given to him. All other of his sannyasis were giving power to accept sannyas disciple and become Guru. But Gaurgavind Maharaj was detained for 10 years. In the 1985, after the local agitation, GBC body was forced to give him permission to become Guru. Before that, is not Guru. So ultimately, Gaurgand Maharaj is trying to pacify Srutida. No, no, he is a gentleman, fine man. And he is telling, I have no money. No, no, Gurudev. His attitude is not, not, not so silent, submissive answer. He was, he was just uh, shouting like anything. I want to hear from you. He will not tell me. I will go and ask him a few questions. Now, don't go there, such a Surtidhar. We will just go to some other place because time is still. Now, please, please give me one second, I will come. Then, Sachin again go into there, Surtidhar, press the calling bell. <coughs> that same gentleman and dog, that animal came out immediately. Who are you? I am asking you, who are you? What? He was a, uh, uh, you know, central school student, having good proficiency in English language. He told, what you told to this gentleman who is uh, waiting at the gate? Who, who is that? He is related to? I am asking you. You have told him a beggar. You know, he looks like a beggar. He is a sannyasi sadhu coming for a temple. You have no money with folded hand. You could have said, no, I have no money. Please go out. You are just scolding him like anything. Do you know? I am his representative. He will shout again. I will punch you at your face. And he will show you in the moon in the daytime. 
Don't try to behave any sadhu coming to you. He may be a good person. You are a rascal number one. I'll kick you at your face. What? Please don't talk. I will grab your neck and throw you out of your quarters. You can't do anything. He was so much out of his control that the gentleman was just trembling like anything. I was touching to a sadhu whose follower is coming to challenge me in my own residence. I said, Prabhu, sorry, sorry. What sorry? Why you had misbehaved him? Is he look like a dakayat? Is he look like a rogue? Why you had behaved him like him? You are in the position, you are totally blind. And you are behaving like anything. Scott free. Now I just beg apology. I won't behave him uh, like in the future. Okay, not to him, not to any other sadhus. When he beg apology, then he came back to Gurudev and told, I should uh, teach him a lesson, but you just told me we'll go to other places. These people should be given lessons. Otherwise, the society will not refer. They are blind to the sadhus mostly. So in this way, that man has very much got a good lesson and any other very, very good topics are there. So now it is uh, just I want to just uh, know about any comments. I'll speak like this, it will go, time will go like that. But if the question is there, otherwise you will close. Here is a topic, I'll just give you, this is uh, Shubhag Maharaj's book on Prabhupada Smarana Amritam. He had glorified Prabhupada. <coughs> He's telling, like America, in London there is a huge chariot festival. With so many people in the street with the addition of a massive chariot. There was some disturbance in the traffic. The policemen were becoming increasingly upset. They requested the local senior ISKCON devotees, what? Pointing out to Prabhupada. They are telling to ISKCON devotees managers, tell this old man to stop dancing. He is causing a big commotion. The devotees tried to explain to the police that this old man was our spiritual master. And we could not instruct him. The police left even more agitated than before, but did nothing. Because Prabhupada is dancing before Prabhu, uh, Jagannath, like Mahaprabhu before ja, Pro, Jagannath in Puri. So what harm is there? But police people have no idea that he is a spiritual master, he is their spiritual guide. So he was asking the local leaders to stop Prabhupada. So, so following day on the front page of the biggest newspaper in London, written in big bold letters were the words, Lord Jagannath chariot travel rivals with Nelson's column. Prabhupada saw the newspaper and became overjoyed, so much so that he mentioned this historical event in his commentary on the Chaitanya Charita Amrita. The police department had warned us that in the following year we would have no reduced the size of the event or else they would cancel the festival completely. When Prabhupada heard about this, he simply remarked, impossible, Jagannath is the lord of the universe, who can stop him? As far as I remember, the next year we had a slightly smaller festival, but the year after that, a grand Rathatra of exuberant proportions was again held. This pastime emphasizes the point that we should always have firm faith in the words of the pure devotee, for whatever he says will happen without a doubt. In this way, the love feast program, Prabhupada, all these things are there. Demigods attends Prabhupada's katha. Many Indian residents in East Africa had migrated to England. A number of wealthy families settled in different cities around the UK. In London, many of them used to invite Prabhupada to their house programs. Prabhupada used to attend along with a few disciples. They entertained Prabhupada in a befitting way and Prabhupada used to deliver lectures on the philosophy. Prabhupada also gave discourses in various halls and universities in London. I heard from other devotees that once Prabhupada had a program in Conway Hall. At the end of the program, a devotee told Prabhupada how the program was not successful due to the small audience present. Prabhupada became very grave and remarked in a deep tone, You cannot see, but I can. So many great personalities are present here, demigods. We are telling nobody is the... Conwell. But I had seen so many demigods were present. Devotees become confused at statements like this. Where are the demigods? Because who are the seer of the truth? It is very common for them to see the demigods. Prabhupada is the seer of the truth. Ultimately saw the demigods filled the entire Conway Hall. But for the devotees, nobody was present. It was the vision of a pure devotee and the conditioned souls or his associates. So book distribution fun. Somewhere or other, by whatever means, devotees used to get the books sold. They would say very convincingly, in this book there is a mantra, if you chant it, you can fly in the sky. 
Hansodhita Prabhu taught us how to mesmerize the public. Looking into their eyes, devotees would ask, are you coming or going? They would become confused. In a mesmerizing manner, they would ask the people passing by, have you heard about Hare Krishna? Yes. Devotees would not nod their heads up and down till they said, yes. So you will take this book and read it. Yes. You will give a donation to us. Yes. It was an unforgettable experience that sometimes made the people public very confused. So in this way they are distributing books of Prabhupada in London streets uh, within this year. Then miracle in London. On one occasion, Subhaka Swami is telling, I decided I won't take prasadam before I could distribute all the books in my bag. As time passed, I realized that I had more or less distributed nothing the whole day. That means I won't accept any prasadam. Subhaka is telling, in the evening, as I was feeling hungry and weak, I sat on a bench and closed eyes due to fatigue. In a distressed condition, I called out to the Lord, Oh Lord, please help. Just then a man gently patted my shoulder from behind and said, My dear sir, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sivagumar is telling. I replied, I am trying to distribute these religious books. After he looked through the pages of the books, the stranger, he explained, Let me buy all your stuff. Then, were several units of four most titles, but the man did not hesitate to buy everything immediately and give a very good amount of money. I looked around to find the man, but he was nowhere to be seen. I mean, we will just uh, distribute Prabhupada books. If you are in a distressed or depressed condition, we just surrender to the Lord and cry before him that I have no score, nothing is today's uh, book score. So, you just sit silently, pray to the Lord. Lord will come and make arrangement. Maybe say he will send somebody or himself will come in different form and purchase or take all of your books and give you the money and your book district program is successful. He is telling you that miracle in London. So many things are here. Asanas for Narada Muni and Lord Shiva. You see, he had written that book. In that book, he had given the picture of Narada Muni and Lord Shiva. We'll say, I was just reading this, this is our last item we'll read and close it. Swayambhu Prabhu from Australia joined in London and was very fond of halwa. You are testing our halwa in our Rajbog and distribution, you know, halwa? You know halwa? Tested halwa? Here he also is doing halwa. I used to make halwa with Prabha Vishnu Maharaj. We used to prepare very rich Punjabi halwa in London. We fried the simolina in ghee and used only milk, no water. We added lots of divon and cornwall double cream, dates, pistachios, cashews and ricins. It was extremely rich, providing sufficient energy to go out for Sankirtan till late night, maybe till 10 o'clock. I once told Swayambhu Prabhu, this is a wonderful basasan that we have made for Prabhupada. It was green and a violet with a golden butter. In his humility replied, I had no previous ex experience in the field of making basasan. I expressed my doubt to the devotees, but they responded, it does not matter, Krishna will give you the intelligence required. Everyone highly appreciated the Basasan in the end, including Srila Prabhupada himself. Prabhupada then ordered him to make two other Basasanas, the same design but a miniature version for the altar of Radha Londoneswar. I used to do Arati many times over the course of four years. Those Basasans were placed either side of Radha Londoneswar. When Prabhupada gave the instruction to make them, we did not know for what purpose it was for. One devotee inquired, Prabhupada, who will sit on this basasan? Prabhupada replied, you don't know. Who comes here? These devotees coming from different cultures. Now, however, they are practicing Vaishnava culture. They are looking like residents of Baikuntha, chanting and dancing, decorated with tilak, sari, dhoti, kurta, and looking so effulgent and bright faced. Great personalities come here to witness the miracle. Who Prabhupada? Devotees inquired. One is Narada Muni and the other is Lord Shiva. These two seats are meant for them. We are bewildered when you heard this, but as Prabhupada told us, we are glad to accept it. Because when Prabhupada is glorifying Krishna, Narada Muni and uh, this uh, Lord Shiva came to see his uh, followers with all tilaks, dhoti, sari, kurta, and we saw a pleasant right fest, so also listening Bhagavatam, they are coming, presenting themselves. So Prabhupada arranged two basasans for them to sit and to give their association, so also enjoy the pastimes of Lord Krishna from the holy lips of Srila Prabhupada. Oh, pure, he was seeing, but the devotees are not able to see. 
वन्स ऑक्सीजन प्रोपर टोल ब्रह्माजी स्टैंडिंग हाउ कैन आई सीट ऑन बेसिस ऑन आरेंज आसन पर ब्रह्माजी वहीं आसन आज मोड इमीडिएटली प्रोपाद रिक्वेस्ट ओ ब्रह्माजी प्लीज टेक योर सीट आटर ब्रह्माजी टू गिव सीट प्रोपाद सेट डाउन ऑन इसीट एंड स्टार्टेड गिविंग भागवत लेक्चर इट इज अ रेगुलर अफेयर्स ऑफ प्रोपाद बट वी आर डूइंग सो मेनी पूजा ऑफरिंग्स नेवर इन योर लाइफ वी आर सीन एट लीस्ट वन्स शिवजी और ब्रह्माजी और एन आर दिन एनीथिंग दैट्स वे यू कैन सी हाउ प्रोपाद इज मोस्ट एक्जल्टेड पर्सनालिटी Have you ever seen Pro Krishna associated with Krishna, delivering lectures to glorify Krishna, souls of Nityan Prabhu and uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and all the demigods like Shivaji, Brahmaji, and Narada Muni also? This is the divine pastimes of Prabhu Pad. He was a living legend, and he was a very, very great, great, great personality to deliver from the clutches of ugly which Maya. And it is a good privilege where Prabhu Pad had made this center such by good and good dams. We should take good advantage of it. And make our life successful. Fortunately, he is very, very pure and uh, close associate and uh, personal assistant and uh, GVC. Our His Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj is there. He is just taking all every single second to serve Sri Prabhupad around the globe in India and in his temple. I am really grateful to him. I asked Maharaj, I want to have your darshan. I got give me the permission. So what's your problem, Maharaj? I have not yet taken sannyas. Please bless me. So now the best I should take sannyas. No, it will happen. It will happen. Please. Then I told Maharaj, I have another uh, request. Now what? I want to preach in Delhi because devotees are very serious. I also purified by their association. Give me the permission to. आपको साफ समय स्वागत है दिल्ली को आकर प्रचार करो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं और कुछ है महाराज आपके बारे में बताऊंगा आप इतना सिंसियर सबमिशिव एंड शो डेडिकेटेड टू प्रभुपात इविन ए स्मॉल टेम्पल यूर गोइंग दर इविन यू आर वेरी मच फिजिकली बट यू आर डूइंग यूर आरती दर आई कैंट ग्लोरीफाई आर नोबल क्वालिटीज आई एम शो फॉलो महाराज प्लीज ब्लेस मी टू फॉलो यर फुट स्टेप्स एंड बिकेम ए ट्रू worshiper of krishna and also follower of sila prabhupad yes ma'am now okay okay no problem in this way he gave me five seven minutes i got his association blessings i got bit uh, encouraged that sooner the best by the mercy of maharaj i will accept sannyas and will associate all of you with you and make my heart more clear to get my spiritual standard improve and uh, make my life successful hari krishna jai sila prabhupad ji maharaj ki jai sri sri gaur nitai ki जय श्री राधा पार्थी पार्थ सारथी ललिता विशाखा जी की जय श्री सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की जय नृसिंग देव भगवान की जय भक्तराज प्रहलाद महाराज की जय पांडव निर्जल एकादशी की जय समेत गौर भक्त वृंद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की निदाय गौर प्रेम नंदे हरि हरि बोल बांचा कल्पतरु व्यस्त कृपा सिंधु वेवच पतिदान पावन भ्यो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो नम जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय